so I just came back from my four night, five day uh, EV car camping trip to Vancouver Island and uh, just want to do some uh, pros and cons not too many cons but uh, some of the experiences that I had while I was uh, on my trip so first off I left Vancouver with about a 60 or 65 percent rated charge on uh, on the car and took the ferry came across and landed in Nanaimo so Nanaimo is the home of the only Vancouver Island supercharger so you're thinking oh it's an island uh, you should google it because it is 31,000 square kilometers which is about 12,000 square miles it is 25 or one quarter the size of England it is larger than uh, the entire Hawaiian Islands combined as well it is larger than the entire country of Belgium so there's some useless information for you but I just wanted you to understand how big Vancouver Island is and the fact that they only have one supercharger station on the island uh, that's obviously due to the amount statistically the amount of Tesla's being sold on the island and uh, Elon has said well when you start buying more Tesla's I'll start giving you more superchargers but that's fine because my intent was actually uh, not to use superchargers at all uh, my intent was actually to use plug share and do level 2 charging throughout northern Vancouver Island uh, to see how easy uh, it was so I started in Nanaimo one of my first stops of course was Parksville and Qualicum Beach absolutely beautiful I did find a place overnight to stay uh, it was just a sort of back forest road and I just pulled off the uh, the road and fell asleep uh, that was probably and I think I mentioned it in the video that that's one of my my uh, best sleeps and the reason for that is well a number of reasons I, I would imagine that the first reason is that I backed into sort of a, a little bit of a, a sort of hole in the forest if that makes any sense so there wasn't much light uh, you know because it, it didn't get dark until 9 30 and uh, it was light in the morning at five and I'm not usually a, a five o'clock kind of guy so um, a because it was darker I, I, I wasn't woken up at five with the, the Sun or the light shining in my eyes but secondly is that um, it, it the, the, the cot seemed to work great uh, other camping trips that I've done uh, my cots caused some issues and I think the primary uh, change that I did was that I only put down uh, the larger half of the 70 or 60 40 whichever side the larger half that's the one I put down in, in, in the back seat the other one I left upright and I used that seat to put my clothes and uh, you know coffee cup and all that kind of stuff and it's also easier to get in and out of your cot when you have that seat up you don't have to open the door and climb over and then get into into your bunk so um, yeah so from there I uh, had a great sleep then I went to sort of Coombs saw goats on the roof uh, brilliant and then I made my way over to Euculet and up to Torfino so the thing about those two locations is that I knew that they were larger uh, very sort of touristy places so I didn't use the plug share app prior uh, to going um, I just showed up and hit plug share and it told me where the chargers were I didn't need anything in uh, Euculet but I think there was about nine ten locations within that you know village uh, for you to use I'm very fortunate that I have a 85D my battery is large my full range uh, from you know from 100% is about 425 kilometers uh, I think the only thing that would come 
pretty close would be um, <clears throat> the Chevy uh, Bolt uh, and, and maybe the, the, the new generation uh, 60 kilowatt Nissan Leaf. I think that's coming out next year. Uh, anyway, I was very fortunate. So range anxiety was not a real thing for me at all. There was nothing... Um, there was there was no two points that I wanted to get to that were further than 425 kilometers away from each other. Uh, however, when I did get to locations, I did need to charge, so I did use level two. Um, so yeah, so when I went to to uh, the the plan was not to use any Tesla uh, type products, uh, destination chargers, uh, other than the supercharger, just to give me the full range or, or full charge. Uh, so when I pulled into Tofino, I had actually used PlugShare to tell me where one of the locations are that I can charge. And it said that there is a Sun Country Level 2 charger um, at uh, one of the hotels that has a restaurant in it. So as I pulled in and I started going down the hill, I saw the charger. And then right next to the charger, I saw two uh, Tesla destination chargers. So I actually used those instead of the other charger well for two reasons the first off was that it was broken the other one was broken but also uh, even if it was working fine I would still use the Tesla destination charger just in case some other EV um, guy came up and, and needed to use the, the Sun Country J1772 so uh, from Euculet and Tofino and the amazing Long Beach uh, and I I charged as I as I ate there, and I think I got, you know, an extra 110 kilometers while I was uh, eating and walking around uh, Tofino. Uh, then made my way back to the uh, east coast of Vancouver Island. So on the west coast of Vancouver Island, the furthest west point of Canada, um, that's where Euculet and Tofino is. So I made my way back to the East Coast. So um, when I was in the, the Courtney Comox area and I started in, entering into Comox, I pulled over and I hit the PlugShare app to find out the, the best location to use. And I found that there was uh, an actually um, a craft distillery um, place that was had offered level two charging. And... I think this is around 8.30 at night, 9 o'clock at night. So I went there, and again, lo and behold, right next to the J1772 at this business, he had a destination charger. So again, it wasn't my intent to use any of the, the Tesla destination chargers uh, for this trip, just to prove that any vehicle could do it. So I, the, the, the run from uh, Tofino all the way up to Campbell River, sorry, uh, to Courtney, uh, it put me down. I think I was down to about 90 kilometers. So I did sit at that, uh, that distillery uh, for, I think, about three hours. And I think I got around 100 kilometers, just shy of 100 kilometers. Um, so then I was sitting there. I used the, uh, the electric skateboard to get down to Tim Horton, then up to Walmart. And uh, that's where I bought actually a mattress, a blow-up mattress. And I used that uh, for the rest of the trip to put on top of the stretcher. And uh, that is definitely the, the way to go. It was just a single air mattress, had felt on one side. And uh, the great thing about that felt is that it stops you from falling off your cot uh, or slipping off your cot with the uh, previous mattress pad I had is that I'd wake up at two o'clock in the morning and I would have already slipped off and I was in some weird crazy position but uh, with this blow up mattress I only blew it up halfway because I didn't want it firm and rigid I sort of wanted my body my fat just to ooze into it and it worked out uh, worked out great um, so then what I realized at the end of that three hour charge that I, I did check PlugShare again, and it said that there was actually a hotel called the Westerly. In all my videos, I called it the Waverly, but it's not. It's the Westerly, and it uh, had a, a Sun 
country J1772 in, in the basement there. So I actually, after I think 11.30 at night, after charging three hours to get 100 kilometers at the, uh, at the, at the distillery, and I, I went in there and I parked and I plugged in there. I think I was there for just shy of two hours and I got 150 kilometers extra. So I was banging, I, I was at about 350 kilometers when I left. Uh, so then I, I found a place on the side of the road in a, a heron bird watching environmental pull off the road. And I slept there and uh, it, was, it was a good night's, good night's sleep for sure. I spent the next day um, with some friends I hadn't seen for a year down at the base. And uh, that's where I uh, showered and shaved and I washed the clothes and I charged up all my electronics and uploaded, I think, two videos. So that day was a, it was a bit of a write-off, I think. However, I did go back and, and thank the distillery and bought myself a, a bottle of vodka from them just to thank them and tell them how, how appreciative I was that they put not only the Tesla, Tesla destination charger, but also having an other, a J1772 for other EV uh, people to use. Um, then I went up to Campbell River. Uh, somehow I lost the footage, the drive up there from Courtney to Campbell River. It is absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. And while I was up in uh, Campbell River, I did use the City Hall charger uh, just to top up, just to, because you can, right? The whole ABCs, for me, it, ABC means two things. It means always be charging and also always be cleaning. So when you're at the charging station, I, I clean the dash. Because I, I see all these footage of uh, people showing their their screens and all that kind of stuff. And uh, in, in every car, every EV, and there's these dust and it just bothers me. Anyway, I digress once again. So um, I th that's where I found uh, the Strathcona Park. What an absolutely amazing place that was. It was free. I limited myself to $20 a day for these uh, four days for no other reason that I just wanted to prove that I could, that I, I could do it. So that sort of meant uh, one meal at a place and then uh, pulling over and getting out the stove and making a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a can of soup or making a sandwich. So I gave myself $20 a day. So uh, while in Campbell River, I did go for uh, a meal there and I charged at City Hall. And uh, I, that's a sort of far, on the way to, Strathcona Dam is on the way to Gold River, which is again on the west coast of Vancouver Island. It sort of goes across. Um, any, I, I didn't go any higher than that. Um, however, when you go higher than Campbell River, you are now dealing with quite rural uh, northern towns, villages, more like villages. And just for uh, shits and giggles, I actually looked up on PlugShare what was available in um, Port Hardy. So Port Hardy is, is sort of the most northern tip ish of Vancouver Island and there were three plug share locations there for free um, actually no two were free one was a bed and breakfast so I'm I didn't click on it to see whether it was free for everyone uh, but the uh, the second one was at the hostel and uh, the main one was at their uh, business center and uh, it was all free j1772 so that would actually be an awesome trip because the northern vancouver island very rural very sort of scotlandish ish um up there and uh, the only crappy thing about going to and from vancouver island is that it costs 150 dollars there and back on the ferry just the ferry trip costs that and that's uh, quite a quite a heavy uh Kick in the, kick in the wallet. Um, so problems, there weren't many, many problems. Charging was not an issue. There's free chargers using the PlugShare app. To me, they were everywhere. I didn't have any concerns. One of the tricks is uh, if you do go to one of these hotels or resorts or whatever, and they do have uh, an EV 
plug in their free for guests or whatever, plug in and either eat at their restaurant or have a, a two dollar coffee at their coffee shop and, and you know make it last two hours or just go to the front desk and saying look I'm, I'm in the neighborhood I'm a bit of a tourist I had a cup of coffee here I'm gonna go walk around if you need me text me so uh, that's what I did at the um, the the westerly in Courtney is that I plugged in and then went up for breakfast and I you know I think it was an $11 breakfast and I got a I was there for two two hours two and two and a bit hours and I got a 200 kilometer uh, free charge from a, a ten dollar breakfast so that is the way to to play the game so Vancouver Island dead easy to get around in an EV uh, it's gonna be easier once the technology and the battery sizes um, begin to improve and increase um, I think my next trip would be somewhere up to northern British Columbia. And I got, I'm not talking the great white north, northern British Columbia, but some of the small rural towns and see what it's like for someone in that area to, to drive to, I can't even think of a place right now, Clinton, Clinton, BC. Can you get there in an EV? So these are sort of things. Um, even though I do have free supercharging and for, for that, I, I would like to see what it's like for other EVs to uh, to get around. Anyway, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, uh, please leave them down below. P subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm not a great technical kind of guy, but I, I do videos on stuff that I find interesting. Uh, so hopefully you would too. Click that bell, and uh, that's about it. You take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.